In today's custom stringing video, I show you guys some vaulted stallions. What's going on, Throne Army? Have a custom stringing video for you today, and it's actually a pretty diverse one. And uh, we have some really cool stallions. Uh, I have a really nice Evo 4X and uh, some pretty cool rables. But the first one is a Maverick Rise for Cameron, and it's all black with blackout mesh with a king pocket. Up top is black and purple, sides are white. It's got purple in the throat with a matte black screw, white heavy top nylon, purple shooters, and white locks. Uh, just perfect colorway to it. Um, also good combination between head and pocket. Um, the rise is a little wide, but we're able to get a really nice channel in it. Um, as you can see, these stacked use up top there, and it's got that nice high pocket to it. It's a little bit stumpy of a head, but um, looks great. I really like the black on black, and then the injection of purple, and then the white just absolutely cleans it up with the nylon and the shooter locks. Um, just looks absolutely awesome. Um, love it. Absolutely love it. Um, I wouldn't change one thing. This head is actually going to Brad in Australia, which I think is awesome, and it came out amazing. It's a Warrior Rabel X with a Ranger pocket with 15 mil black fade. He actually did very similar or the exact um, colorway I did for the release of this pocket, which looks awesome. He's got orange up top, orange on the sides, orange through the throat with a matte black screw, uh, white nylon, all orange shooters, and black locks. Um, color looks insane. He said uh, in the notes section that uh, it's going on a shaft to match this perfectly, so I think that's going to look really, really nice. Um, again, wouldn't change anything. It looks absolutely amazing, and that uh, kind of arrowhead top string we're calling it looks absolutely insane on the Rabel. And in terms of the pocket, it's kind of got that baggy mid, mid high to it. Um, it comes on the Ranger with that really nice, a little bit long channel to it. Um, perfect, absolutely perfect. Able to drop down because of the nice shooter in the throat. Um, really good combination. The the ten or the ten K that I actually strung the first one up in and the Rabel aren't that different in terms of face shape. Um, so it comes out really nice, and I like that it has that six hole, so we're able to uh, kind of do the arrow head top string a little bit of justice instead of doing it um, how we did on a 10K or like a superpower which only has four holes. So um, definitely awesome. It's cool seeing this go to Australia. This next head is for Sevraj, and I don't think we've ever strung up this combination. It's a Brian Houdini High School with a king pocket. Um, it's kind of got Whaler's colors, which I think is really cool. It's got a royal to uh, Kelly green fade. Up top is green and white. Sides are white. We got green in the throat. A royal nylon, white shooters, and royal locks. Again, gorgeous colorway to it. It's got that pretty much a high pocket in the Houdini because of the flare. Um, same channels always. And then the face shape. The Houdini is a very strange head. It's very kind of like square and flat. Um, but they're they're fun to string. They're actually a matte plastic too, which I think is really nice. But um, they're just kind of crazy. And then the the high school edition is just like ridiculously pinched, a little bit too pinched. Like if you're doing a low pocket and you use this a little bit, um, I think that ball is going to get stuck. So it's a good thing you went with a higher pocket. But um, yeah, pretty crazy head. Um, love the colorway to it. Again, I've been a big fan of that really drastic top string lately, and I love the two color mesh. This Brian Clutch Elite is for Benjamin, and I think it's my favorite head in this whole series, and um, it's just so clean. Um, again, it's a Clutch Elite with a king pocket with 15 mil gold fade. Up top is gold and white. Sides are white. White in the throat, white nylon, gold shooters, and then clear locks, as you can see right there. Um, just such a clean looking head. Um, it's got that nice mid-high to it with the king. Awesome channel. And yeah. I would have done white shooters, I think, but the gold I really makes it just look like it's like dipped in gold, which I think is really cool, um, and just looks absolutely awesome. Um, really love the way he did this. Um, yeah, there's not much else to say. It's just awesome looking. The gold from afar even looks so, so cool. Um, on the all-white head with a little bit of black, um, I could see it going on a nice brine shaft or like a Titan, a little bit of silver, using that kind of that gray and gold play off of each other, but this one's just awesome. I absolutely love it, and that white nylon just cleans it up even more. This Rabel X is for Randy and has an apprentice pocket with 20 mil white. This is actually the pocket that Chris used for a long time and um, I still use when we shoot around stuff. Uh, it's an extremely accurate pocket and the 20 mil just gives it a lot more hold. Up top is red and black. Sides are black. Black in the throat with the red screw. Love that with the black jewel up front. Black nylon, red shooter, red lock. Super, super clean. Um, the 20 mil is going to be a lot softer than our 15 mil. A um, little bit harder to string. It's kind of convention because it's got the wider diamonds. But same great channel to it, and then it's just so, so soft. Um, it's going to break in nicely. And then with the simple shooter setup and that little bit of lower pocket, it's going to float right out of the stick. 
Um, great combination. Also picked a good head for it because you're able to really pull it down and channel it, but you don't want to channel it too much with that three-point U or the ball will kind of get snagged on there. So this is kind of like the best middle ground with having a lot of hold with a clean release. Um, I think it's going to perform really, really well. And uh, just like the black, red, and white, um, definitely looks awesome. Um, you guys have done awesome color combinations in this whole series so far. Here is a Warrior Evo 4X for Karen, and I love this thing. So we uh, we blacked out this Warrior Evo 4X and strung it with 15 mil flare. We have the Pioneer pocket, just looks unbelievable. Up top is black, sides are volt, black in the throat, all black shooters, and black locks. Again, um, everyone's really digging the black head with the flare. Um, and this is just so clean with the four straight and the black locks and just a little bit of volt on the side. Um, definitely one of our favorite vaulted heads that, or uh, flare heads we've done yet. In terms of the pocket, this is our pre-strung, so it's got that really nice, deep, baggy uh, mid-low to low. And then that really long, perfect channel just going to ride right out of there. Um, yeah, not much else to say. It's just clean, but it has that really cool element to it of the flare. And then the volt on the sides gets a little bit more with all the murdered out shooters. Awesome, awesome colorway. This STX Stallion is for Jay, and yes, it is an STX Stallion. We vaulted it to match the Lakota. It's got a Renegade pocket with 15 mil white up top. It's black and volt. Sides are black. Black in the throat. Then it's got uh, volt shooters, volt nylons, and black locks. Perfect colorway once again. It's got that nice mid-low to low that's going to bag down and actually goes all the way into the throat. Um, nice elongated channel to it. Um, nice and narrow. It's going to be clean release, and it's dropped a little bit with those nylons. Um, yeah, I mean, that last custom string video had a ton of Renegades, so I walked you guys through it countless times. Um, this one's pretty clean. The only thing I wish the Stallion had another hole down here, but I think I've mentioned that before. Um, love it. And then the STX uh, and black up top just goes with that um, string and everything. And I, I think I would have done black nylons, but now that I'm looking at it, it just makes it really clean, especially with the black locks on it. Um, awesome colorway, definitely going to stand out in summer. Um, and I just love seeing the Volt on the Stallion. We have another STX Stallion that we vaulted for Michael. He has, but this has a night pocket with two color custom fade. So it goes from uh, neon yellow to Carolina. Up top is black, sides actually black going all the way around. And then we got a matte black screw for the throat. Black nylons, black shooters, and Carolina locks. I really like how he threw that Carolina in there. It's right where the fade goes. Um, that was good execution. It just looks so, so nice. Uh, the night is a, a night in the stallion is an amazing midi setup because um, it's going to have that power from the face shape. It's stiff enough in case you need to really work on ground balls and, or check people. And then it's going to give you that really nice defined mid pocket. So when you're moving through traffic, going to shoot, the ball's not going to move and it's just going to have a really clean accurate release with some serious power behind it um so i love the night um and this had a great combination it's got that really defined mid to it and then that nice channel um and it's just going to ride off that five and the three and then the the sidewall thick nylons aren't as as heavy so you're not going to feel as much of a snap so it's really just going to glide right off the top of it um looks just awesome i love the all black and then that little bit of carolina and the shoe locks just pulls it off um that's about it i'm gonna show you both of them together because they're fun it's cool seeing one go with the two color mesh and then one be really clean um, it'd be hard to pick a winner uh, between the two. This one, I think, is just a little bit different than what I've seen, which I think I like. But this one, again, is, is just always awesome. This next head is for Andrew, and I actually had the privilege of meeting him at the Long Island Max Fest. We got to throw around and hang out for a bit, so it was really cool seeing um, a head being strung up for him. And it's a Brian Clutch Elite X with 15 mil Carolina fade. Um, in an archer pocket, up top is black. Sides are black, white in the throat, white nylon, black shooters, and white locks. Um, Again, great colorway. I like the use of just the, you know, the accent color just in the mesh and then the just the outlined in black and white. Looks really, really clean. And the other thing is there's a little bit of blue in the ball stop, so it just goes with it. Um, almost looks completely natural on this head. Um, the Archer and the Clutch is a great combination. We don't see it as much because a lot of people get this in the, uh, the Stallion. And then if they're going to get this, they normally get a King or something else or a Renegade. Or not a Renegade, a uh, Rain for a higher pocket, but it's cool. It's um, fun stringing up something different. Um, with the clutch with all of them, it has that really high pocket because of the um, real shape of the head. It's, you know, I think it's now the second most popular head of all time. Um, or actually the third, third most popular head of all time. It's got that crazy uh, channel to it. And I also posted a photo of the Clutch 3 on Instagram if you haven't checked it out yet. Um, one of you guys sent me a photo of it that they saw a prototype. Um, looks interesting. They're changing some stuff up, kind of like putting two of the, the original clutch or the clutch elite with the clutch two. So definitely check it out. But um, that's about it. And um, I mean, it's just perfect with the black here and the blue and the ball stop. And then just kind of being up top and where the ball's going to sit, it's all white. Um, just looks really, really sick, really simple. Um, and just kind of an elegant way to show some color without being too classy. You know, it just looks modern. And that's what I really like.
This black STX Surgeon is for Andrew, and I'm digging the combination with the Renegade Pocket. I think we've only did one of these beforehand. It's got 15 mil white up top as maroon and black. Sides are maroon, maroon in the throat. It's got black nylons, maroon shooters, and black locks. Um, this head's a little funky to string, but once you figure it out, um, it, it, it's pretty awesome. It just has like a really long neck here, pretty high pinch to it, and then the sidewalls are like just a little bit off. But once you string one, you figure it out. But um, it always confuses me because Memdorf uses a pretty low pocket, and not he doesn't normally use this aggressive as a head uh, of a head. And so when you string it, it kind of like the pocket never really seems as defined as you'd want it to be, but it's going to function exactly the same. And it's just strange because everything's just a little bit distorted, um, almost looks a little bit alien. But um, the the Renegade just fits it. It just it it's going to be so clean. And the, the whole reason is because where the pinch is is right where those shooters sit and then it's just like straight down so that ball is really only going to travel from here to here with the drop release and that nice uh scoop shape it's just going to be such a awesome head i think we did one of these with flare and i don't i think it was a rush hour so i never got to show you guys it um via video but it's just just nice so it's got that nice kind of mid low to it that's going to be able to drop down and just clean smooth release up up the top and then the channel is just absolutely perfect it's like the exact width of that um, ball and the exact width of the head um, just comes out nice. It just doesn't look as defined, um, which kind of weirds me out. But I think it's just because you really would want this head to kind of end in here somewhere and then just be a little bit wider. Um, it's kind of being over aggressive than it needs to be if you can actually string a nice pocket. Um, so it, it's just strange, but it's weird seeing a guy that uses that type of pocket releasing this head. But you know, they probably just endorse it and they don't use it as much. But definitely looks awesome. Um, love the Renegade and the surgeon together and i'm digging the colors as well just all around just a really cool head it's got that classy look to it but um i i, I would just tear the field up in this it just it's, sometimes when you see a head and you're just like ooh, like you know i could score a lot with that um they're kind of getting that from this head definitely awesome and our final head is for ryan and this thing is just so clean we have done this mesh a bunch of times for orders but i don't think i've ever strung this combination up and I just love it. it just looks so cool. It's kind of got that, it's kind of like modern element to it, but it's pretty classy without being crazy. Um, it's just kind of like a new modern, and that's what I like. So it's a Warrior Rabel X with a night pocket, and then it's got this awesome two-color fade from red to Carolina. Up top, he inverted it, which I just love, is red and Carolina. Sides of Carolina, white in the throat, white nylons, white shooters, and that's it. I just kept it so clean. Uh, the knight and the uh, Rabel, good combination. Not as good as the Stallion. Um, it's a little bit longer head but um, it's got that great mid pocket to it that's a little bit elongated, that perfect channel. Um, ball's gonna release right out of it. Um, that's about it, just looks absolutely sick. Love the use of color with those the two colors in that. Uh, so that is everything for this custom string video. As always, let me know what you guys think of the heads in the comments below. I'm staying with the Brian Clutch Elite with the gold fade. I just think it's uh, just ultimate class, uh, very unique, haven't seen one before. Um, just really think this is an awesome looking head. Um, but disagree with me if you want. And if you guys like the video, please throw the video a like. And that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Me threw my weapon of choice this summer for the King's Guard team. Um, it's a black warrior Nas. Um